The month of October was the first transition, I believe, to changing the uh, changing the adjust, making an adjustment on the catch. The adjustment on the catch was more so catching back, not at zero, but at two seventy rather than the back right corner. So this is an adjustment that you'll that we'll see in a, a later video in this series. Um, that it isn't catching back right corner with the feet pointed at like back right corner. It's just that keeping that same idea of feel and feeling, except shifting the body another quarter turn to two set to two seventy. So that right foot is gonna be all the way at two seventy on the first catch. The torso is going to be not back right corner, but it's going to be wherever it is the end point that the left hip allows the ball to be at that point. Wherever the right, I mean, wherever the ball is, is dictated based on where your where uh, how far your body will allow you when you get to that first catch and that will set up this is this is the biggest distinction that i'm seeing in these throws versus my throws that are currently happening right now So just to go into a little bit of elaboration, what I'm doing in this video is making that adjustment. Where do I find stretch in my left hip on the first catch and then make the adjustment there? If I have to open the left hip up more in order to catch at 270, what that means is catch later, not back right corner. Then what the ball, what it's going to do is that my body only rotates so far. So... It's not that what this is going to show you is simply that it's an adjustment a quarter turn later. I was a quarter turn early and now I'm making it to where it's a quarter turn a little bit later. What this is, what this is making everything clear, it's making the plane of the ball of action uh, at 270 and... Uh, and at 90 degrees at that quarter turn at three quarter turn that is where i am allowed for my body only is uh, just from my my perspective of flexibility that is when i am allowed to go because the problem is that i'm having now is that i've reverted back to what i had before and which is fine which is what we wanted the only thing is that i lost that concept of when the ball is supposed to be applied ten or where i'm supposed to influence the ball which is at that 270 when i'm catching at 270 so what this does it helps me open up my left hip so it doesn't close off what i'm doing is i'm closing everything off i am putting the heel down much too early i'm putting the heel down instead of at zero i'm not slapping it down so what this is doing it's allowing me to open up the left hip and slap the heel to zero and just getting close. Set pass, hit line, and then 
this is the adjustment position that I'm looking for in that first catch. So I'm not looking for the heel to be slapped onto the ground uh, before, I mean, right at, as soon as I get through the catch, there's still a transition that needs to happen. But what this is doing it is, allow, I know that I can do it because I've done it before. So what I'm doing now is I'm acting upon the ball and I'm inf trying to influence the ball before I'm allowed to. So I need to go back to these throws. This is from October 11th and October 12th that I started making a great amount of success on the finish of the throws. If you look at the finish of the throws right now, they are very closed off. They're very much previously how how they look uh, the, uh, back way back when, probably like six months ago. So this is going to be the huge key to be able to recycle this. So this, uh, for the most part, is what I'm looking for, is that heel, this is the finish, this is the final uh, turn into going into the fifth turn, uh, or the finish, or however you want to describe it, but this left hip is everything. So the, I don't care for perfect, um, I mean, there, can it be better? Of course it can, but this is what I'm looking for. So going into this finish... I stick it, I'm working completely around the left side, and there is no cutting it off. What I would do, what I'm doing now is this left heel is coming down almost at 270. So now what it's doing, it's rotating, facing zero, and now I can work around the left side completely. The left hip is opened. So this is the position that I was practicing on the entrance, and I'm looking to mimic that in the final turn. Uh, going into the into the into the fifth turn, but or the finish. But the thing is, on these films, this is October eleventh to twelfth. I'm not worried about like how it looks in the entrance. I'm not worried about like uh, low point shifting left. I'm not worried about any of those things. All I'm looking for is body position in relation to the ball, and it can always be better. But this is going to be the next thing that I need to bring back. So this is perfect.